Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a brief overview on what to do when you get to level 50. A few people had messaged me and be like, hey, I'm new, what do I do when I get to level 50 in Dark Age of Camelot, Eden, private server. This is where it's at, it's bustling, it's busy. There's a lot of you know people still playing. It's a few months into season two, but it's one of the healthiest Dark Age servers that I've ever been on in the past few years. It's been, yeah, this is as good as it gets. So. What do you do at 50? Okay, let's talk about it. You get to 50, then you want to get a template, okay? So a template is the priority. You want to start figuring out where do I go, what do I do to get this template, okay? You can go to Zencraft. I also have a video on how to create a template using Zencraft. Um, but I would say for you, if you're brand new, just start with getting a default template. They have them. You can look at the online templates. People have uploaded templates. Um, you can also just like go to somebody who looks like they know what's going on. I think it's inspect. You just inspect them and just see what their spec is, what their armor, weapons, etc. are, and you can just see what their template is. Um, if they know, like, like if it looks like they know what's going on. Most of the people who've been playing for a while are going to have some sort of rog in their template. So, like, my template's really good, but nobody can replicate it because I have this crazy rog that you're not going to find. So, um, you'd have to get something similar or comparable to make a, sim a template similar to mine. Um, so you can inspect me all you want. It's not going to help you that much. Um, so that's the first thing. So there's different items that you can search in the item database. You can do slash wiki items, right? It'll, it says here, it says wiki anything, and it'll show you different beginners um, to, you know, uh, resources. Uh, so you go to the default browser, it shows you all, it tells you all about the items, read up on it, then go to quick links, items database, and you can just search on the website. The website's your friend. You want to use the website like religiously. Um, and just get items um, down and see where they're at. So, you know, dragon items with dragon currency are in the dragon zone. You kill the dragon, you get dragon currency. Um, Summoner's Hall is another epic raid. It's in a, you know, PV. It's a dungeon in a PvP zone, right, in the New Frontiers. Um, so any realm can go in there and fight each other. Um, but you get currency for that. You can get items for that. Darkness Falls has is also a PvP zone, but it's only open to the realm that owns the most keeps. So, you know, there's some PvP in there, but it's, uh, you know, there's so there's raids that happen there. Um, and then there's the epic quest, which, uh, depending on your template, you might have epic armor. And if you have the epic armor, you want to go into the throne room. Depending on the realm, it'll either be Turninog, Jordheim, or Camelot. Go in there, talk to the king, he'll give you a quest. You can also get your um, champion weapon from the king, which is kind of an easy starter weapon. Um, so you'd come in here and talk to Homeboy. So Homeboy, uh, you know, let's see, does he have some? I think I put mine in my vault, but yeah, you can select which one you want and grab it. So basically, you know, that'll be at champion level five, champion level 10. So it's not too complicated. Once you hit 50, you get a template. You wanna do, you're gonna have to unfortunately do more PVE. So fighting more mobs and stuff to then get more champion levels. Champion levels take a little while. They're not, it's not like a regular level. It's not that that powerful, but it does give you a little bit more hit points. It gives you the ability to get a CL5 and a CL10 weapon. Um, and then you also can get some spells from other classes. Like, so for instance, I have these resist buffs, which give me 10% resist, um, right, per uh, for all of the magic resists, which is actually pretty huge, given that the, the typical cap is 26 uh, from bonus items. Okay, so let's say you get CL5, you get CL10, you want to train your little bonus abilities, you know, you want to figure that out. Well, then you're, you're always going to go to a channeler to get it around, as you probably know by now. Um, in this case, Magmel, um, I think it's Mularn, and Cotswold. So Mularn on mid, Cotswold on Alb. And it basically just has, going to this building here to the right, all these 
trainers, like basic trainers, like stalker. But the the game used to have level one through ten, I think it was. Maybe it was one through five. Um, basic levels, right? So you'd be a naturalist, and then you'd decide: Do I want to go druid? Do I want to go bard? Do I want to go warden? And the but the core was naturalist. So these are basically. Um, the trainers that you get abilities from for the champion levels. So you just train them by blah, blah, blah. And you have 10 champion points if you're champion level 10. Um, you don't get a lot of champion levels through P uh, PvP, through RVR, but you do from uh, killing mobs. You can also do the writ quest. So, like, let's say uh, another thing we could do is go to New Frontiers. And there's a bounty quest, I believe it's, yeah, the Rit bounty quest, which is over here. Homeboy here, I think it's Mana Strong, yeah. So you'd get one of these Rit quests and then you can select um, Champion Insight and this gives you a champion level after you've completed the quest. So that's a pretty fast way um, to get a few of them. There's also the uh, let's see, uh, I think near DL, yes, yeah, so if you go to Drum Legion, there's border keeps, right? And so on the respective border keeps of mid and, and alb, uh, there will be, I need to complete this, what is this? Yeah, let's do it, boom. Uh, there will be, if I look at the map, over to the right, if I run over, there's uh, what's called COC, Cave of Crouchen, and that's a, basically call it, they call it the CL5 dungeon, because if you go through that dungeon with a group, um, two to three full groups minimum, uh, you'll get five champion levels. So it takes 45 minutes, and you get five levels. It's super uh, sweet. So then afterwards, if you run it again, you'll get one champion level. Pretty easy decision. Um, so, and then you have Darkness Falls. Like, so let's say I, I wanted to buy an item, I'd go to Darkness Falls. I would have had to have completed the, like, Legion, which is the main boss in Darkness Falls, to, in order to buy items. Um, same with Dragon Zone. you got to complete all the, um, the quest um, and get credit for the dragon and then si to buy items. And then similarly, Summer's Hall, you got to kill all the bo main bosses to then get credit to buy items with currency. So then... Um, you get currency from killing those bosses. You also get currency from um, doing daily quests. So one of the easiest ways to do to get currency is with the daily quests. So if you go uh, to the front new frontier zone, you can do the daily quest. I'll show you where that is. There's a few different, um, you know, like. Once you're 50, the main thing you care about is getting template CL10. Um, this is where the main uh, commander lock, I don't know what it's called on mid or, or, or alb, but you get the daily quest. The daily quest in your journal is demons and dragons. We gotta go kill some minions. So you can basically... Um, you know, look at the red dots. I got dragon minions I can go kill. It's a, it takes you into a PvP zone. You could get killed, but if you complete the daily, every day you get 100 of whatever currency you want. So, um, you know, glass and summon, summoner's hall pages are usually uh, the most valuable. You can go into the throne room and exchange and see the currency exchange between the currencies and see what's trading for what. Um, and then there's also on the website some tracking on the market for the currencies. Um, the other thing is the housing. So you want to get familiar with housing. Ideally, you want to get a house, um, right? So you go to the housing zone and, oh, man, I'm going to butcher this uh, command. I think there's a command. It says I don't own a house, but I do actually. Um, yeah, there's, um, there's a command to get a house. You can ask it in advice. I forget the command, uh, to see what's available. Like, like housing lot, 
something like that. There's a way to see what open lots are available. And so they, when a lot is available, it starts at, I think like some exorbitant amount of money, like 90 plat. And then every hour, maybe I forget the, the time increment, but it just, it pretty quickly goes down to the lowest. It'll be is 300 gold for a lot. So often what you see is people, if there's not a lot of houses, they're kind of waiting around for that timing. They time it out so they know when that lot's going to be 300 gold and they buy it. Um, but if you want to be ambitious, you want to go buy it for you know a plat before they do. You can go steal it from them. Um, so the house allows you to sell things on the market, right? So you can, it, this is about, what is it? 500 gold for the consignment. Um, I forget, is it 500 for the porch? I think it's a plat for the house. It's all, it's all around like two plat, basically. Something like 1.5 to two plat. So get 1.5 to two plat, get a house. Then you can start listing things here. So uh, I uh, this is great. I got six plat, 600 gold here because I sold some items. And then you can see, what did I sell? Um, I sold some instant power pots. Um, I sold um, a mallet. I sold a um, rog, a couple rogs. Um, enhanced stuff. Yeah, sweet. So looks like I did pretty good. So I'm going to withdraw that. And now I have a lot more money. Um, so, you know, yeah, you can just price stuff out on here and take the money. And if, if you can also buy things on housing, uh, you got to make, remember to pay rent. So, um, you come into the lock box and pay rent. Um, it's also good for storage. Like you can get, let's see, you can get, um, there we go. I made, I made, paid fifth. Uh, what did I pay? Zero because I already had paid, prepaid. Okay, nice. So get your vault keeper. Uh, UI is a little weird because I blew it up recently to make it bigger. Um, that's why it's red. Uh, I could shrink it and fix it, but I'm doing this for the sake of the video. Um, you get your vault. It's like a plat. You can put a bunch of items in there to save. So. That's kind of how you get started. And then what you want to do is just start getting out and doing some RVR. Um, the easiest way to do RVR is to get in a battle group. Um, battle group's just a bunch of people running out. It's just kind of chaos. It's really who's got the higher numbers. There's definitely strategy involved and some uh, battle group leaders are better than others, by, but for sure. But um, you can type slash BG, but no, slash who BG slash who bg pills powers the big big uh swinging dick on uh hib so you join his battle group see what's going on try to get a group um you know some classes are going to get a group easier than others right so if you're a bard or a druid you're like going to get a group every time because people want all the heals they want spec buffs they want speed they want all the like you know group group friendly stuff um but Sometimes they'll just take a healer because, you know, they don't have a healer. Um, you know, DPS is not in demand by and large because everybody wants to play DPS. It's not any, unlike any other game, tanks are not really in demand in BGs because like, my guy isn't going to get a group very easy because they're not extremely useful in a battle group. It's mostly like casters. You're looking to get tags um, on different uh, en realm enemies. Range is really good in a battle group because... You know, like they're meeting like this, you, you know, the front line's gonna die pretty quick, so they're not getting a lot of tags, they're not getting a lot of RPs, run points. Um, yep, and then you can see stuff in the in the chat here, like right now there's a, a DF Legion raid BG on me, so if you join that guy's raid, you'll get the DF credit, and you'll, you'll get some currency, and you'll be able to buy items for your template. Um, yeah, that's, that's most of it, so let's see. Um, if you want to navigate around, like over here there's a teleporter for, um, Ellen Bannon, which is the centralized hub you have, basically. Um, you have your main map on the left, um, and then you have your um, Realm War map, type slash RW, and you'll see the Realm War map. This is where all the fun goes. This is why people play this game, is for you know, basically all the RVR. So you see there's some swords here, um, blue and green, meaning mid and hip swords. Um, all these heaps I can teleport to, um, so long as I'm near a... Um, what's it called? Portal stone. Yeah, so as long as I'm near the portal stone like this, I can teleport around. So right now, if I wanted to go to um, get the realm enhancement, get the speed, 
make sure I'm healed up, uh, which is only relevant if you're doing PvE. Um, and then you look at your tasks. I have a personal mission still, so I don't need to talk to this guy, but he'll give you a personal and a group mission. Those will give you 500 realm points every time. I'm gonna go to the recharger here. Make sure you recharge all your items, uh, items you're using. Um, you know, you get the bounty master. You want to get. You can get. You know, some items maybe for a template here, but um, this is where you get. You can buy different stones. Like you can get a dual spec stones. So you have two specs. You can get race respec and all that stuff. Um, you can also buy some champion levels if you wanted here. Um, uh, let's see. Um, you want to get greater speed of the hunt because that gives you basically the ability to have speed, right? So I have this. You can get it from keeps and hasteners, but it's just nice to have it when you're out there you get hit. You can actually get back up and running um, by using that. So, recommend that. And then also, you want to get a boat. So, you want to go over here to the Bounty Siege Master, and you want to get page two. The scout boat is the fastest. It's 500 bounty points. You can check your bounty points here by going to attributes, scrolling down. So, in 501, I have 9,000 bounty points. I could buy that boat. I already have it, so I don't need it, but that's how you do that. Um, you can also get currency from trading in Badge of Valor. So I can go over to this guy, um, hand him some Badge of Valor, which you get from different Living Frontier quests, right? So if I go to J, I'll see there's a two, um, group size two, Living Frontier in Mount Colliery in Snowdonia. Now if I go um, to my Realm War map, I'll see up here it says Mount Colliery, very briefly. Um, I can also check my uh, map here when I'm on when I'm in that zone, right? So I'm in Crouching Gorge right now. Um, so you know I can port to Scathag and I can go fight, kill some deserters, get some uh, badge of valor. Right here, I'm going to select the flaming glass. And I have some more glass, so that's how you get up and running with your template. You want to get a, as far as buffs go, you want to get a greater drought, greater drought of heroism, right? That's 100 charges. This thing just gives you, like, the best buffs you can get without charging an item, right? So, um, in, in the, you know, I have a ring here called Director's Ring of Anarchy. This allows me to have charges. So, like, let's say um, I want to use one of these charges for Dex Quick for... Um, strike con, it's going to give me an enormous uh, boost, right? So, like, right now, you know, I don't have a ton of strength or con. Let's say 249 con. If I just use this without um, any item swaps, I'd have, like, a nice boosted con. But what you also want to do is get some rogs. Uh, so you have 6% spell buff, 8% um, duration, and so all of these three items adds up to 25% stat buff, 25% duration. I've gotten it down to three items. Usually you're going to have to do four, but I've kind of pieced it together. So, And I also like it because it's um, cloak and arms and stuff, so it, it allows me to see that I need to swap my items. So I put these on. Uh, let's say... Um, use strength con charge. Now I have essentially like a druid buff for 12 and a half minutes. Um, it starts my item cooldown, meaning that I can't use any other items for like another minute and a half. But if I show you my con, I went from uh, 249 to 295. So quite a big increase. I think heroism is going to be a little bit less than that, like 279, 280 maybe. I don't know. Um, so you do that, you use a heroism, and then you're pretty much fully buffed. You can get other, um, like, strong elixir of speed for haste if you're a melee. But honestly, if you just get heroism, just use heroism. If you're starting out, it can get expensive as 10 gold per charge every time you use a charge. So if, you, if you're kind of, like, low on funds, just get the, the greater drought and just call it a day. Um, Especially if you're running with the BG, you don't. It's really just if you're doing stuff by yourself. Um, if you're in a group, they're they're gonna buff you. You should be fine. Um, okay, so there's also um, just these deserter quests for solo that you can do solo quests. So you can get these. These will also give you currency and roam points. Um, and so for this one, for instance, this is the solo 
Now, if you're going to go to the solo zone, there's going to be like 1v1 people there that are going to kick your ass, like no question. So you're, if you don't have to play, you're going to get frustrated. I would recommend, sure, go do it if you just want to see what it's like to get just worked over completely um, or challenge yourself. Cool. But um, I would run with BG, get some realm rank, get familiar with the class, see how it works, um, do some um, do some raids, etc. Once you get familiar on the class, kind of get a good feel for it, um, try to do some group stuff. You could do some duo stuff um, to run around. You could do five-man stuff. You could do eight-man stuff. Um, and then when you start feeling comfortable on the class, let's say you're rank five, you got you know, the general gist of how the class works. Now you want to go learn, you want to get some lessons, go uh, do the 1v1 zone and, uh, you know, try your hand at that. And You know, there, there's actually a variety of people with the 1v1 zone. It's actually not all just good players. There's plenty of people just new to the game figuring it out. Um, but I would just expect uh, not, you know, to be winning all the time, um, at least in the beginning. Um, so, but then you learn and get better and see what you did wrong and have a lot of fun with it actually it's my favorite um play style is just having a good duel is like the best um okay so that's dark age of camelot that's eden uh hopefully that gives you a decent overview of everything there's probably plenty that i did not cover um i will say just for the record since i noticed it if you're getting a spellcraft for your template meaning that somebody's going to craft um, stats onto a crafted piece of armor, right? Make sure that you all you take that thing and you take it to the enchanter afterwards, because uh, for whatever reason this game is kind of archaic, but they require you to take it to the enchanter if it's a crafted item, and then that will give it a bonus value, and the bonus value allows you to not uh, to to lower the miss rate. So if somebody um, uh, hits you, the miss rate will um i think be higher versus lower um yeah you just want to do the enchanting i forget the, the specifics just make sure it's enchanted so okay hope that helps um you know make sure you check all your abilities here um bonus abilities you get at 50 that you might not be aware of read the about them see what they do see how you want to use them um slash train gives you um all the insight here as to what realm rank abilities you want to use um and you can chat in the discord with the different group uh groups for different classes to just see hey what's a typical spec hey what do people normally do i would suggest do a typical spec and then figure and then try to experiment and see what you like and what works for you and um you know go with the default one sure um but a lot of my entertainment from this game has come from just experimenting and you know trying new things that you know people are like it's a 20 year old game there's nothing to experiment well they could not be more wrong because there are a lot of custom things with the server that allows you to um, experiment so okay good luck have fun put your shields up sharpen your axes and get the hell out there I'll talk soon